The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, January 26, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Los Angeles Clippers vs Orlando Magic. The La Clippers are scoring an average of only 105.3 points per game, which is 26th in the NBA. The Clippers are shooting 44.8% overall and 35.7% from behind the three-point line. Leading scorer Paul George is out injured, and the second leading scorer is Reggie Jackson, with an average of 16.9 points per game. Jackson is shooting only 39.3% overall. Marcus Morris Sr. is the third leading scorer with an average of 15.5 points per game and shoots 41.7% overall. Jackson is the dish leader with an average of 4.2 assists per game. The Orlando Magic are scoring an average of 102.1 points per game, which is 28th in the NBA. The Magic shoot 42.8% overall and 32.6% from behind the line, which are 28th and 27th respectively. Cole Anthony is the leading scorer for Orlando, with an average of 18.0 points per game, but is shooting only 39.4%. Second leading scorer Franz Wagner averages 15.4 points per game and shoots 45.3% overall. Anthony is also the dish leader for Orlando, with an average of 5.8 assists per game. Our first betting pick will be Los Angeles Clippers on the money line. The Magic snapped their five-game losing streak with a win over the Bulls in their last game. They will try to keep the momentum going with a win over the Clippers, which will give them their second win in a row and third win in their last seven games. Los Angeles is averaging 105.3 points per game. They scored 102 points in their last game, making 43% of their field goals and 34.1% of their three-pointers. Reggie Jackson led the way for the Clippers with 26 points and 5 assists. Ivica Zubak finished with 17 points and 14 rebounds, while Lou Kennard added 14 points and 5 rebounds. Los Angeles has played well defensively, giving up 106.5 points per game. They gave up 110 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to win this game. Our second betting pick will be under 210.5. Milwaukee Bucks vs Cleveland Cavaliers. Milwaukee is coming into this matchup off a 133-127 win over the Sacramento Kings. The Bucks forced 14 turnovers and shot 50% from deep and 22-25 from the foul line. Chris Middleton led all scorers with 34 points. Justin Holiday and Don DiVincenzo combined for 46 as the Bucks got the job done without Jonas. They will need a similar effort Wednesday night in Cleveland if he is unable to go again. The Bucks won their last three games, but they've struggled in recent road games, losing their last three games away from home. They are facing a Cleveland team that has won six of its last seven games and three straight games at home, so expect them to have a tough fight on their hands. The Cavaliers play well offensively, especially at home where they are making 47% of their shots. They dominate the paint and do a great job on the offensive glass. Even though the Bucks play well defensively, they struggled in their last three games. With Giannis Antetokounmpo, who missed their last game listed as questionable for this game, expect the Bucks to have a hard time slowing down the Cavs in this game. The Cavaliers have also played well defensively, and they dominated their last three opponents, giving up less than 100 points per game in those last three games. They are a great defensive rebounding team and they do a good job forcing turnovers. Our first betting pick will be Cleveland Cavaliers plus 4. Cleveland is averaging 107 points per game. They scored 95 points in their last game, making 43.2% of their field goals and 36.1% of their three-pointers. Kevin Love led the way for the Cavaliers with 20 points and 11 rebounds. Evan Mobley finished with 15 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists, while Isaac Okoro added 14 points and 6 rebounds. Cleveland has also played well defensively, giving up 101.1 points per game. They gave up 93 points in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to win this game. Milwaukee is averaging 108.2 points per game. They scored 133 points in their last game, making 49.5% of their field goals and 50% of their three-pointers. Chris Middleton led the way for the Bucks with 34 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists. 
Drew Holiday finished with 26 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, while Don DiVincenzo added 20 points and 3 rebounds. Milwaukee has played well defensively, giving up 108.2 points per game. They gave up 127 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to get the win. Our second betting pick will be under 217. Charlotte Hornets vs Indiana Pacers. The Charlotte Hornets are 28th in the NBA in points allowed at 114.2 points per game. Opponents are shooting 46.2% overall and 35.6% from behind the three-point line. The Hornets are giving up too much on the glass, as Charlotte allows an average of 47.7 rebounds per game, which is 28th and Charlotte as a team averages only 44.4 rebounds per contest. The king of the boards for Charlotte is Miles Bridges, with an average of 7.4 rebounds per game. Lamelo Ball is the leader in steals with an average of 1.6 per contest, and PJ Washington is the SWAT leader with a team best 1.1 blocked shots per game. The third time will be the charm for the Hornets' current losing streak. Their shooting slump extended a bit over into their recent matchup with the Toronto Raptors. Granted, it wasn't as bad as their ugly showing against the Atlanta Hawks, but it was still bad enough to get them smoked for a second straight game. However, they'll be running into a Pacers team playing without Miles Turner, DeMantis Sabanis and Malcolm Brogdon on Wednesday. That's essentially three star players down, including the Pacers' entire front court, ahead of a matchup with one of the most prolific offensive teams in basketball. Lamelo Ball's three-point shooting might have been off against the Raptors, but he found a way to get on the scoreboard by drawing fouls. Well, I don't expect the shooting slump to stick around long for guys like Terry Rozier and Kelly Oubre Jr., I am expecting them to follow the formula of not simply living and dying by the three-pointer. Our first betting pick will be Charlotte Hornets minus 1.5. We've seen this story enough to know how it usually ends. The Hornets have scored 116 plus points in all three wins over the Pacers this season. So Indiana will either have to find an offensive spark or step things up significantly on the defensive end of the floor. The good news is they're averaging 110.8 points per game when playing at home this season, and the Hornets are one of the worst defensive teams in the league. There's hope they can turn up the heat offensively at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse on Wednesday. But will it be enough, especially with their top two scorers, DeMantis Sabanis and Malcolm Brogdon sidelined? Karis Levert will have to step up in a big way, and Chris Duarte is going to have to provide more offensive support than he did in the previous two losses. Oh, and another huge performance from Duane Washington would also help. Our second betting pick will be under 225.5. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.